हेलो एवरीवन आई एम मंदर राणे टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टॉपिक ऑफ आई डोनेशन एंड फॉर दैट वी आर हैविंग अ स्पेशल गेस्ट डॉक्टर शिल्पा देशपांडे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू गिव अ बिग थैंक फॉर डॉक्टर फॉर गिविंग अस प्रीशियस टाइम फॉर दिस डिस्कशन लेट मी क्विकली डिस्कस अबाउट डॉक्टर शिल्पा देशपांडे डॉक्टर शिल्पा देशपांडे ग्रेजुएटेड फ्रॉम एन के पी मेडिकल कॉलेज नागपुर and then she pursued her masters in ophthalmic surgery from Indira Gandhi Medical College Nagpur she is associated with renowned institutions like Lotus Eye Hospital Bellevue Hospital and she is also associated with uh, social activities with Sri Parle Seva Sangha so uh, we will welcome dr desh pande Thank you so much, uh, Mandar, for inviting me for this uh, small talk on a very important issue that is eye donation. Now, uh, coming to uh, what is eye donation? It is actually a voluntary willingness to donate a very important part of your body, that is the eye, for benefiting someone who can't see. Uh, now, uh, this eye donation uh, can be done by anyone. from the age of 2 years to 70 years or even above age is no bar for this now why we need to donate eyes there are lakhs and lakhs of people who are blind in the world and the most important reason for this blindness is cornea okay now imagine i'll give you one simple example imagine a precious stone in your hand you close the hand you ask a person to close the eyes and describe that stone which is there in the hand it's very difficult okay you will just feel the shape but you won't be able to say what kind of stone it is what is the color of the stone so if i open my hand i know the color of the stone i know what precious diamond or what, what precious stone it is all this is possible only because i can see so if you are blind it's really difficult to move around to do your day to day activities and hence it is as as a part of the society it is our uh, you can say our duty to help these people who are blind and which is a curable blindness so do a little bit to get them out of the darkness and let them see the beautiful world around you who are the donors now there are no uh, there are some indications where we avoid taking the eyes we are very we avoid uh, the eye donation like septicemia these are patients who are bedridden for a long time they are in the icu they have lot of infection throughout the body so these patients usually we avoid then who are suffering from the zero positive uh, conditions like the hiv to hcv those patients or who have rabies tetanus uh, so or cancers above the neck okay so these conditions we usually avoid taking the corneas but otherwise age is no bar all these corneas from 2 years of age unfortunately these children who may have died because of some illnesses these children and up to 70 or 80 years of age all these people can donate eyes and even people who have met with an accident on the road even those eyes can be donated for a beautiful cause so now eyes can be used for different purposes these eyes can be used one for people who can't see because of a corneal problem now before i tell you about these things let me explain you with a simple model of the eye now this is an eye model here you see a cut section of the eye where this part is the cornea okay this is the window of the eye okay it is through this that the rays of light pass through and you are able to see this is the retina and this is the nerve 
going to the brain. So whenever you see an object, the rays have to pass through the cornea. This is the first line or the first layer through which the rays pass through and then they follow the retina and then the brain is able to tell you to see things. So this cornea is the most important part of the eye. Now when I say an eye transplanted, people feel it's the whole eye which is transplanted. No, that is a myth. The whole eye is removed or is enucleated if I can put in a medical term. It is removed from the patient's eye, the donor's eye but only this part of the eye is transplanted. Okay. That is called a corneal transplant. That is also called a keratoplasty. So it is a corneal transplant which takes place when you donate an eye, not the whole eye. Now this cornea can be used for different purposes. If you have a person who has had a chemical injury, sometimes you get these children who play with tuna. So these people, these people get a corneal scar, a whitening of the cornea, of this transparent part of the eye. It becomes white. So in those cases, you can have these donated eyes and you can transplant the cornea on such people and help them see because they can't see only because the cornea has turned white. Rest of the eye is good in these people. So if you transplant the cornea, you can help them see the world. Sometimes you have people who get injury in the eye, maybe because of uh, uh, you know people playing around, children playing around or people having a fight and with that you have very sharp uh, instruments or sharp uh, weapons which pierce the eye and uh, destroy the cornea. So in that case, it's an emergency. So these corneas, these eyes which are donated, these eyes can be used to replace the cornea so as to protect the whole eye. Otherwise, once the cornea is damaged, the whole eye is exposed to infection. So it's an emergency wherein as these eyes which have been donated can be used to save the eye. Then what if these eyes which we get from the people if these eyes are not fit for donation or to be transplanted into a patient's eye, then what happens to those eyes? Don't worry, these eyes don't go waste. These eyes can still be used for research purposes. Now, unless and until you do some research, you can't have new things coming in or you can't train your people to do good surgeries, brilliant surgeries. So these eyes are always used for research purposes. So nothing goes waste. There is a process of registering for uh, eye donation. You can't donate eyes when you are alive, but you can pledge to donate your eyes, which is such a noble cause. There is a very simple process of doing it. You have these eye collection centers, you have hospitals who are involved in this very noble cause. Like for example, in Juhu you have Lotus Eye Hospital where I also uh, consult. So this hospital has an eye collection center wherein we have a trained team of uh, people who can help and do the needful, do the process of taking the eye. There is a simple process wherein you have a donor card available. These donor cards are to be signed by the person or by the patient who wants to donate eyes willingly. Like if I want to pledge my eyes after my death, then I have to fill this card. It has details of patient and it has the details of a witness like for example a relative like a son or a daughter who would know of the patient's wish to donate the eyes after death it is never done alive it is only after death but there is no place where you can register as such so you have to just fill a card the eye donor card 
wherein you fill your name, you fill the witnesses details, you let your relatives know your wish to donate and keep this card, fold this card and keep it in your wallet. So keep it on your person wherever you go. So it's so simple and this card will help you whenever, whenever that day comes when you can do that noble cause, you can do that noble deed, then that day this card will help those people around you to know your wish to donate. So this is what a donor can keep with him. Now this, this is a list of people who want the eye. This is a form which the people can fill if they want an eye transplant. There are different eye collection centers. There are different eye banks. Eye collection centers can go to a person's house and take the eye, then send it to an eye bank. The eye bank will evaluate your eye which it has got and decide who is the best person to receive the transplant. Doctor, you very nicely explain about the eye donation. Doctor, also let us know what the person who is nearby, uh, what are the things that one needs to do, what are the precautions we need to take in order to safeguard that particular eye so it will not be waste and can be utilized in a most appropriate way. Right. And when, uh, whenever there is a death in the family, the relatives who know about the patient's wish to donate eyes should call up on this helpline number. There is a helpline number which says 9819401919. So this helpline number, uh, a call has to be given immediately to the, uh, to, on this number. Uh, there is a medical team which is always alert 24 by 7 and the moment you, they receive a call from you, they will send a team to the address to your house to collect the eye. Now in the meanwhile, what are the small things that you can do at home is when such a thing happens, please switch off the fans that prevents the eye from drying you can take a wet cotton and keep it on the eye so as to prevent dryness of the eye so that cornea doesn't get bad uh, you can keep a pillow under the head so that the bleeding is less whenever the process of removing the eye is done these little things can be followed at home uh, when the team of uh, the medical team arrives at the home you can ask the relatives to be out as that process of removing the eye is little uh, not so uh, uh, not so uh, good to watch uh, the team would do its job in about 10 minutes uh, time uh, the body need not be shifted anywhere it can be on the floor and they are trained to do so after the enucleation is done after the removal of the eye is done the eye is uh, padded well so that nothing um, uh, the appearance of the body or the face doesn't get disturbed the lid is also closed so there is uh, nothing uh, uh, not a very unpleasant sight i would say uh, after that uh, you also need to keep your death the patient's death certificate ready so as uh, which can be given to the medical team which has arrived there which states the cause of the death and simple procedure which uh, which need to be done um, after that, uh, the relatives are free to uh, complete the rights of the patient. Once the eye is taken by the medical team, it is transferred to an eye bank. Eye bank will evaluate the eye for its cell count, which is so important, which tells us how good the cornea is. Young people, young patients or young donors will have a very healthy cornea as compared to an aged person. So depending upon how good or bad the cornea is, there is a waiting list of people who want the cornea, who are waiting to be operated for a corneal transplant. So these eye banks, these are centralized eye banks which have a waiting list with them and according to the goodness or the viability of the cornea, the healthiness of the cornea, these corneas are dispensed to the patients. So a very healthy cornea will go to a young patient and other corneas will be distributed to the other people who are in waiting. Uh, this corneal transplant, now as we have al al already said that when I say uh, an eye transplant, it's always the cornea transplant. So 
when I say cornea transplant, it is this part of the eye which is getting transplanted. Now the technology has helped us to transplant or to take care of the vision from one cornea, two people can benefit. How, how is that possible is there are people who have blindness, corneal blindness because of different reasons as I already stated. So depending upon what kind of blindness it is, there is a way of transplanting only the upper part of the cornea to one patient depending upon the requirement and the inner part of the cornea on the other person depending upon the requirement. So it is called a lamellar keratoplasty or lamellar corneal transplant and this the inner part is called the DSEC. So you can see now one eye, one cornea is giving vision to two different people. So if you have two eyes from one person, you have four people benefiting from it. Isn't that a very noble deed? Isn't that a very big thing? There are so many people, millions of people waiting to have a corneal transplant. And if we do a small bit, after death, the body is going to ashes. So why not use it for someone who can't see? At least that person is definitely going to see the world, the beautiful world around with your eyes, with what you have donated. So let's all pledge today, I pledge, and we all present here, let us pledge to donate our eyes after our death to all those people for, for them to see the beautiful world around. Now we can see doctor explained about the eye transplant, eye donation in a very nice, in the most simple way, right? Even I was having many doubts in my mind and all those got clear and today also I am going to pledge. I, am, I have decided that I will donate my eyes and I hope each one of you who is watching this video will definitely go for this particular eye donation, a noble cause. Uh, one more request, if there are any doubts, any queries, you can ask the questions in the comment box and I request you to share this video to all of your contacts so that this particular guidance for eye donation can be spreaded to all possible people and we can get more, num more number of eyes and many people can see this beautiful world. Thanks a lot.